I took Minecraft's richest and poorest players, and today I'm gonna make them swap lives to see if their happiness changes. Here's our two Minecraft players. This is RJ, one of the poorest players on the server. This is his base. RJ, how much money do you have right now? 253,000. Wrong, my guy. You have $10 million. Oh my god! And uh, Fart Ninja, how much money do you have right now? I got 1.5 mil. You're wrong. You have $100. Oh god. Today, you two will be swapping lives to see if money really buys happiness in Minecraft. This is your zone where you're allowed to build and i'm gonna give you guys 10 minutes to go build your first base using the money i gave you am i allowed to go and make money you can make money but you can't use any of your current items a hundred dollars that's not great oh my gosh i have so much money what do i do with it oh, no. time's still ticking i need to hurry up oh god Guys, they're down to just eight minutes now. Now I'm going to look at what Fart Ninja was able to buy with his $100. Pretty much just bought four stacks of wood and some stone. So I think he's going for kind of that basic Minecraft base. But up here, we have Mr. $10 million RJ, who came from literally no money. Let's see what he's got. He's pretty loaded. I mean, he's got great gear. He's got great tools. But interestingly, went for pretty much the same blocks other than a stack of sea lanterns. Fart Ninja, tell me a little bit about what you're trying to build down here with your poor base. Okay, I'm trying to build like a deck for boats. Uh-huh. Do you feel like so far, like, this is tough for you to not have all that money you're used to having? No, to be honest. That's I like the honesty. That's why we're here to test it. We're going to see if it really matters. RJ, you've got six minutes left to build right now. With $10 million, I'm surprised you didn't hire any help or like buy more exotic blocks. Yeah, I like little like peaceful sort of houses. Like I'm trying to go like above the wa like the water. Do you feel like life's easier with this money right now? Or like, how's it feel so far? Yeah, I don't have to feel so stressed about like running out and like what I can use. Interesting. But guys, this is really interesting because the rich player literally just hired somebody with no money just based on his connections, which goes to show that the rich sometimes in life manage to stay rich no matter where they start. This guy over here is now copying. Despite having $10 million, you can kind of see why he was poor to begin with, but we have a lot of tests to do today. Let's see what's going on here. Don't just kill me. Did you just try to get help and he tried to kill you? Yeah. Yeah, man, it's not looking great for you despite having $10 million. How much is Kareem going to charge you, dude? You're going to pay him? Yeah, one mil. You're paying him a million? This guy is paying him a million dollars. That's 10% of his money. Yet down here, Fart Ninjas early on base, despite having no money is more complete than up here. He doesn't have the network or the skill. A little bit more detail, though. You guys have two minutes left to finish this build. Thank you. I'm gonna go buy torches, so I don't have any money. Fart Ninja can't even buy torch. You better start a mine, dude. No, I think I might be able to make some money quickly. Why is coal so exp- Oh, no, it's not. It's cheap. Oh, he can't. He's not. You're not used to the poorness, are you? You're not used to, like, not having money. Now, putting a time limit on them allows us to see how resourceful they are. If a really smart rich person came, they could have used the $10 million to just go out and buy a big base or hire a lot of really talent for a low price. Down here, though, this base is much better. And I'm I'm honestly very shocked. It, it's really strange. But really, what we're after today is to find if it makes you happier. One minute, 17 seconds. Fart Ninja, your base looks really good despite not having a lot of money. Oh, hello. Also, your friend is freezing the entire lake with their boots. Is that right? I know. I gotta kill him. Three, two, one. One, and that is time. Stop the building. Fart Ninja, you had just $100 to build your base. Tell me what you made and why you made it. So I made a little ice boat fishing place uh, because I thought um, there was a nice lake here and it's kind of starting to be Christmas. So I think ice fishing would be really fun. Nice. And this is a little cabin. Read the sign. Sub the lover fella. Obviously. And uh, up here, Mr. R, tell us. I, oh, oopsies. That's fine. Just a little bit of Thor from lightning. Tell us a little bit about yours. What, what exactly is this? And... Uh, uh, why is it ugly? With the money, I tried to go with like a cliff edge sort of thing, like above like a... I don't really know. I just went for some sort of peaceful base. Okay, well, it seems like our poor player is way more resourceful and build a better base despite having almost a thousand times less money. But it's time for our second challenge, which is going to really shake things up. You guys have five minutes to spend all of your money. Oh, gosh. It's hard to spend because I don't have... I need to buy anything. <laughs> <laughs> there's, I'm sure there's an $11 block somewhere. It's not. Mr. RJ, what are you going to be buying? I'm going to try to get some fresh new armor or something. <laughs> fresh new armor. Interesting. Okay. Now, these two are struggling. Fart Ninja doesn't have enough money to buy anything. And then Mr. RH has so much, he can literally buy anything and he's getting overwhelmed. The issue is, is he going to waste the money? He's buying random useless gear, like netherite ingots, like a couple of enchanted books. He doesn't even need better armor. Like, I'm just curious if he's going to be smart about it. It almost sounds like he's getting more stressed out despite having more money. Well, Fart Ninja, have you spent your money? Yeah. What'd you buy with it? I bought two uh, deep slate. Two deep slate. Let's see it. Put them on your base. That means your base cost exactly $100 when you get these up. Look at that. Great little awning right there. And tell me a little bit, Mr. R, what have you been buying? A bunch of really expensive ores and other things. Wow. Loaded up with diamonds. Uh, You still have, oh, you have $9,800. That means you've spent all 10 million. Where's ever the items at? I paid that guy a lot because if it weren't for him, my base would be terrible. It is terrible though. This, yeah. How much 
did you pay your friend? <laughs> if, like a couple million, like three million or something. I don't know. It, look, I'm going to be honest, RJ. It feels like you paid this guy multiple million dollars. It almost feels like you're not good at managing the money. When I get too much money, I go a bit mad. It seems like it. Did you like life before more when you didn't have the money? Did it feel simpler maybe? It, it felt more simple, yeah. But when I had money, I felt like I could, could like relax more, not yeah. worry about losing. Well, you have two minutes left, so you better spend it. It really feels like this guy doesn't know how to manage the money. It seems like he's getting more stressed. He's not sure what to do. It almost feels like people are more likely to jump into the area they're most comfort with. Like, Fart Ninja is resourceful. He found a way to make no money work so far. And then this guy over here, Mr. R, isn't resourceful. He was wasting money, blowing it on people, spent $3 million giving it to his friend, and all he has to show for it is stacks of diamonds. Who even, why would you need this? What are you gonna do with this? 20 seconds, Mr. R, you better get that money spent. No, no, there's nothing I can buy. $5, let's go, spend it. I spent you. Done. I'm done. You're done. You're done. You have 10 seconds left. You're good. Why did you not like buy any unique items on the auction house? Why did you blow it all on diamonds? What are you going to do with this many diamonds? Um, I, d I, r I don't know. You can tell which one of these players was rich before. Now, guys, we're going to move into our third stage of the challenge. You've now blown all your money and now you're going to earn that money back. You guys now have 10 minutes to see how much money you can make by selling items you bought, by just doing random tasks. Wait, can we sell stuff to players? Can we buy stuff? You can only sell what you have in your base. How do I get I'm really in. Now, what we're looking for here, and they don't really realize this, is again, will the poor person make that money and return to their state of comfort? Is it possible that despite starting with 100 bucks, Fart Ninja, will actually make more money than Mr. R. So Fart Ninja, what are your, what are you gonna do Fart Ninja? What's your plan? I'm gonna do slash casino on some of my items and then sell them because yeah. So you think you can sell a pickaxe for $10 million? You think someone's gonna buy that? It's a $10 million wooden pickaxe. But it's got my sign on. You think people wanna buy a signed pickaxe for 10 million? No, but uh, make it cheaper. Mr. RJ, how do you how do you have so much money? I only have 200k, I've been selling never right. I'm so stressed, I can't do much, to be honest. Lots of stress here, guys, lots of stress. Can I trade uh, people for stuff? Uh, You can, yeah. Okay, so we can see Mr. RJ's inventory right now, and we can see that he's basically selling everything that he just bought for a lower price than what he bought it for. Think about this. There's a good chance this guy might not actually have as much money as the man who started with nothing. Fart Ninja's trying to get creative, but it's not working yet because as far as I know, Fart Ninja has $770,000. How'd you make that money, Fart? I've been selling my custom sign for a bunch of money because I'm amazing. No, 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 no. You're telling people are buying your items on the auction house? Yeah. How did he just sell that? This guy had a hundred bucks. He now has more than the man who started with 10 million and a better base. You guys have five minutes left now to make as much money as you can. There's so many really good deals in the AH. Why don't people just get them? So you're flipping items? What are you trying to flip right now? I bought a spider spawner for 10k. How much of a good deal is that? Spider spawners sell for hundreds of thousands. You can see the prices nah, here. Nah, they sell for 20k easily. Do you consider yourself, Fart Ninja, someone who understands the market well? Yes, I do. And and Fart, tell me a little bit about why there's so many people here at your base. Who are they and what's going on? I don't know any of them. I think my friend's teleporting them in. Do you think it's a maybe opportunity for you to make some more money? You could start a fight club or a business or something, you know? And last but not least, we have Loverfella with men's instigating. Everybody, should we start a fight club? Uh, let me build the arena quickly. It's 5k to do it. No, it's actually 100k, sorry. You got a PvP 100k. This young little scammer, he knows what he's doing. Mr. R, let's see what he's up to. I've only got 1.2 million. Okay. No one wants to buy anything. Guys, fight. Me. Um, so it's Eagle and this person. Get ready. Three, two, one, kill. <laughs> Well, guys, it looks like you've both decided that you've um, sold enough items so you've made your money. Tell me how much money you have, Fart Ninja, right now. I have 2.17 mil. Wow. I only have 1.2. Unbelievable, guys. We have actually now swapped. The rich player has returned to being rich. Your next challenge is to use your money and invest it into your base to create a business. You guys have about 15 minutes to create a business. By the way, RJ, how you feeling with all this money? And now that you're losing to Fart Ninja despite starting ahead, does that hurt your ego any? Yeah, I'm not feeling nice. very good. Oh, wait, you're clear has gone into my house. Fort Ninja. Oh gosh. Can you unclaim this over here quick? I'm uh, in my house. No, I can't. I'm really sorry. I can't move. I'm stuck. Having some big trouble up here, man. Should have claimed that base. That's a early business mistake. Made a base without putting claims. Uh, I can't move. I'm stuck here though. See guys, it's just a bad, bad play. He forgot to claim the land. So someone else just claimed it. Now someone else owns the base that he made, which means he now has nothing. All of his items, by the way, are now belonging to the man who claimed it. So if I type claim, some dude Dude named Nightmare owns this chest. This oh guy messed up. God. See what's going on down here in Fart Ninja's world. Uh, I'm not sure what he's making. This is pretty good build, guys. Well done. Thank you for helping. Now I'm stuck here. I'm not allowed in I here. Don't need Someone's claimed it. RJ, you've now lost your entire base. 
You have nothing at this point. Oh gosh. RJ, you're kind of struggling to even get started here. You've wasted five minutes unable to move because your helpers turned on you and stole your base. Well, over here, we have an actual business full on infrastructure going on. Guys, can we finish um, off the bottom part first? Make sure that's done, guys. At this point, I think it's pretty clear. There are certain traits in people that lead to making money. This guy is single-handedly focused on making it. And this experiment is showing us that people that are rich will make that money back. It is fascinating. What's your option here, RJ? What's your business idea? I'm just gonna have to make something new here and start over. That is brutal, man. Fart Ninja, I think you can tell us what you're building now. I'm not sure what it is. Okay, so we're gonna do a PvP ice rink for like some ice skating PvP so it's really hard. Oh, interesting. How are you gonna make money? Um, we're gonna charge 5k per entry. Okay, how are you gonna make sure they pay to get in? I will claim kick everyone and then they pay me, then I'll trust them in the claim. Why don't you just create a warp on the inside and you pay 5k to use the warp? That's a very good idea. Why would someone pay you $5,000 to fight? What do they win? Well, my friend is very good at fighting, so I'm going to make him the first person to fight, and uh -huh. if they win, they're gonna get 10k. Oh! Very smart. Mr. RJ, what is your plan, RJ? I'm not sure, really. I've lost my base. I lost a lot, I've lost a lot of things right now. I can tell through your voice, man, you sound like emotionally distraught. Yeah. You can just tell emotionally RJ is deep. He feels like a failure right now because he had so much and he's lost it. And you can see the joy over here because despite having nothing, he still found a way to make it work. It's a big difference in mindset here. But what's interesting is in seven minutes when this is up, we're going to invite the server here and see how much money these guys can create from their businesses. I mean, at this point, Fart Ninja has recruited borderline an entire company worth of people to help him. Like, he has literally Minecraft mods helping him. I don't even know how he got a mod on here to help him. That doesn't make sense to me. But it's it's impressive, so I gotta let it happen. RJ, let's talk for a minute. It looks like you got some help here. Yeah, I got two of my friends. Uh, I'm, I'm not really sure what they're doing. Because I think they're just helping me get some items to make some, I don't know, to make my business. Do you think that these guys maybe can help you make some money back and get you back on track? Yeah. But guys, if you guys can pay me yeah. a bunch of money for this thing, so that would help out a ton. So guys, everyone pay me. <laughs> the contrast between these two players is mind-blowing. He just blatantly asked for money. He has $2 million right now. It's just unbelievable. RJ, $4 million though. RJ still has the most money, but he doesn't seem happier despite having more. Fart Ninja is clearly enjoying it. Let's listen in. So let's check out this insane new PvP. I think we're gonna put some chocolate. Like, we need to make sure they can't get out here. Y'all are giving away free food. Yeah, free food, free everything. Look at this. This is crazy, guys. The colors are stunning. I love it. Three minutes, 43 seconds on the clock. RJ, it's been 12 minutes and you've dug a hole and put in some items in a chest. What's the slow progress about? What's the reason? Really struggling. Make... RJ, it seems like the more money you get, the more overwhelmed you are. Guys, don't go help RJ. No one go help RJ. Everyone come and help Fart Ninja. RJ, the pressure seems like very high and it seems like it's getting to you a little bit. Is that is that true? Yeah. We're gonna let the final two and a half minutes here. I mean, it's honestly crazy that someone who was given just $100 could build something like this in Minecraft, right? And the man who was given 10 million has this. I mean, it just logically doesn't make sense to me. I mean, I, I love testing things, but this is, a, this is a test that gave results that I never would have expected before. 38 seconds remaining. RJ, this is the type of base I wouldn't even feel comfortable walking into. You put this in front of me, I'm scared someone's gonna murder me. All right, that's time, guys. 15 minutes are up. They each had the same amount of time to build a business. RJ has built an incredible fight club, and over here, RJ has built the sketchiest looking store I've ever seen that sells nothing. There's nothing in the shop. It seems like there's a real lack of security on RJ's part. Lost his base. Now he's lost all his items. RJ, where's your items? I, I don't really know, really. Okay, so um, you were definitely robbed then. Act yeah, I think I've okay. been robbed. Despite selling nothing, you have $6 million. How'd you get that? Um, I'm not sure. I think I might have been paid or something. I'm, I'm really, I don't know. Now, uh, Fart Ninja, tell me a little bit about this. Are people buying it? Are they paying? What's going on? No, so I haven't put it on yet because I know if I put it on, over 100 people are going to teleport. Fart Ninja, I don't think you'll get five people to buy that. Go ahead and put it on. Let's see. Now, I do see a couple people in here, so each one is paid five grand. So you made five, 10, 15, 20, 25. You've definitely made some money. Oh. Yeah. Guys, um, don't know what to do. Uh, Oh, well, I'm getting quite a bit of money right now. How? I need 600,000 more and I've got 10 million back. People, someone just sent me 3.3 million. Guys, don't pay him. I don't know. You, people are sending me money. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's because they've noticed I've become poor. It could feel bad for you. Yeah. Now, see, this is something I didn't expect. It seems like Fart Ninja has created the successful business and Mr. R has failed in every single metric possible. But somehow, if you look at Mr. RH's balance by typing balance Mr. RH, we can see that he has $10 million, which means he's actually $6 richer than where we started, not something I saw coming. RJ, you're back to $10 million now. Yeah. Do you think that maybe you learned today the best business isn't actually a business, but maybe guilting people into making them feel bad? Not always. It could help sometimes, but most of the time, if someone's nice to you, you should always help them out again. So, Fart Ninja, what did you learn today? Do you think having money makes Minecraft easier for you? No, I think it's 
easier, but it's a lot less fun. This test was fantastic, but if you guys want to see me test out some Minecraft build hacks, click here to go watch some more. Peace.